Welcome, welcome, welcome to Goddess Temple Sunday. Happy Goddess Temple Sunday. I am Aviola. We are broadcasting from Guyana, and I am so glad that you are here. <laughs> You're here just in time for R&B music um, stage number one. <laughs> Because if there's one thing they're going to do in rural Guyana is play R&B music. We cycle often through the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, which is where I think we are right now. So come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Take off your shoes. Get comfortable. The birds agree. Have some uh, some beautiful hibiscus tea or whatever you are sipping on and hit the share button and put some positivity on your timeline. I am so glad that everybody is here. Happy Goddess Temple Sunday. Yay, the goddesses are gathering. Come on in. Let folks know that we are here. Hello, Goddess Jamie. Greeting, go greetings, Goddess Lydia. Greetings, Goddess Cynthia. Greetings, Goddess Maria. A lot of odd uh, names like Aviola. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in because you're not going to want to miss today. Today we are talking about survival mode and how so many of us are existing on survival mode. And we're going to do some tapping on tapping out of survival mode and tapping into thrive mode, tapping into freedom mode. And so you're not going to want to miss that. <laughs> Hello, good morning, my beauties. Yes, thrive mode. Somebody type in the comments, thrive mode. That is where we want to be. And in fact, I have a special free gift for you. It is a 10-day free tapping extravaganza and experience featuring people like Ian Lavansan and other magnificent humans. So if you want to tap along with not just me, but also Ian Lavansan and other people for Thrive Mode, you want to go to the link that is showing on the screen. Some people probably can't see it. So somebody type it in the comments for folks. Tinyurl.com slash tap with Abiola. Tinyurl.com slash tap with Abiola. Yes, Thrive Mode activated, says Goddess Trinette. Tinyurl.com slash tap with Abiola. Hello, beauties. Yes, Goddess Laquita is here. Goddess Debra is here. Yay. We have a Goddess Deborah and a Goddess Debra with a B. I love that. All right, so let's get into some gratitude, peoples, and then let's hit the ground running because we have a lot to cover today. Like I said, we want to move out of survival mode. Mode. All right. Let me know if you are in survival mode. Just type survival mode if that is where you have been. Um, you could be a billionaire and be in survival mode because it is, I, I'll get into it in a little bit, but you can be in survival mode, not only just around finances, but emotional survival road, survival mode. You can be in spiritual survival mode. You can be in relationship survival mode. There are a lot of different ways to be just holding on, hanging on by your string, trying to make a dollar out of 50 cents, <laughs> you know, and so today we're going to tap into Thrive Mode. Goddess Tiffany says, Thrive Mode is exactly the intention I've been setting lately. And Goddess Devra says, yes, I'm in survival mode currently. All right, so let's just come into our bodies. I want you to just close your eyes and let's just breathe. Oh my gosh. How good does it feel just to do that? Close your eyes and just breathe. Just come present into your body, come present into the present moment and just breathe. Yes, nice deep inhales and exhales. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you inhale and exhale and you are present, radically present in your beautiful body, radically present in this beautiful moment, I want you to feel around the energy of our global human circle that we have, our beautiful goddesses, enlightened men and other beings who are here in this beautiful spiritual circle with us today. 
And I want you to reach around energetically in this beautiful energetic circle of love, of light, of magic, of beauty, of well-being, of all things being possible. Reach in energetically and take the hand of the sister to the left of you around the globe. Maybe she's in Far Rock away with my family. What up, Far Rock? Hey. And I want you to reach in energetically and take the hand of the sister to the right of you. Yes. Reach in. Oh, maybe she's here with, with me in Guyana. Hey, sis. Oh, and let's just bring it all together as we have each other's back, as we hold each other's hands, as we hold each other's hearts. Yes. And let's just begin with Mother, Father, God, thank you so very much for blessing us with another beautiful day. Oh my goodness, how magnificent that we woke up today, that we woke up this morning. How wonderful that we have been chosen and given another chance to thrive, another chance to be who we were born to be, another chance to connect around this beautiful globe. Ah, yes. And as we sit here in this circle, as you hear the rain coming down, feel the energy of the rain washing away your fears as we thank the divine for waking us up and connecting with us. Thank you so much for blessing us, blessing us, blessing us, blessing us, blessing us with the chance to be happy, the chance to be joyful the chance to be who we were born to be. Help us to remember that any day that we wake up, any day that we wake up is a beautiful chance to begin again. And while we have breath, you always have chance. You always have an opportunity. You are not too old and it is not too late. You are not too old and it is not too late. Thank you for reminding us and please feel free to remind us at any moment in time where you would have us go, what you would have us do, what you would have us say and to whom. Oh my goodness. And for all of this and so much more, we are so very grateful. And we say to you, amen. I say, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Amen. I say, and so it is. Type it in the comments. Amen. I say, and so it is. Amen, I say, and so it is. We have some water, yes. Amen, I say, and so it is. Woo, yes. And as I am sitting here, uh, teary-eyed in this beautiful Guyana farmhouse, in this beautiful Guyana rain, I am thinking about so many of you who I've been blessed to have these sacred conversations with. Yes, I say, I say, I say, I say. We've been having a lot of sacred conversations, not only all of you who are in Mawu's Goddess Mystery School. Yes, what's up for my beautiful Mawu sisters? All of us who are Mawu's Goddess Mystery School, but all of us who are, all of you who have registered for the Tobago Retreat, there is coming up, check your email tomorrow. There is coming up your orientation, okay? So that is coming up this week. Woo! So are you in survival mode? Let's talk. Goddess Bet is in survival mode. Thank you for being open and honest. Goddess Valen says that she is in survival mode. Thank you for being honest. There is, let me just share with you, you know, you can be, as I was saying before, the, our gratitude, you can be a billionaire and be in survival mode. You could have the picture perfect life to everybody else and be in survival mode. Thinking about, you know, the other day when um, I went to the bathroom and my daughter woke up and saw nobody there. She started screaming. She's like, oh my God, where'd everybody go? My sister's in the kitchen. We're here, right? 
But she was like, oh my God, I don't know. I'm, I'm a baby. I'm two months old. I don't know if anybody's ever going to come back and nobody's here. Usually when I open my eyes, folks are here, right? And so some of us had these experiences in childhood where maybe you screamed and cried in different ways at age two months or age four years or age six years or age nine years or age 12, age 16, age 18. You screamed and cried out in different ways for support for love, for wellness, for care, for hugs, for just somebody to believe in you, whatever it was. And no one was there. No one came. No one was there. And so for many of us, you developed patterns of survival mode. And it shows up in your life. And then you may think, okay, well, I'm just lazy. Why can't I get this? Right? Or how come everybody else seems to have this all figured out and I don't have it figured out? Everybody else seems to be thriving. I look at Instagram and everybody else seems like they just have it good. They have it on and popping. So what is wrong with me? Why am I so overwhelmed? Why is it so difficult for me? Why is it so challenging for me? Well, as I said, you may be in survival mode. And that doesn't mean that you're lazy. It doesn't mean that you're stupid. It doesn't mean that you're broken. It doesn't mean that anything is wrong with you. It just means, as we spoke about a few weeks ago in the video, how to stop being miserable and negative. It just means that when every, when all, the only tool that you have or your biggest, strongest tool is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. And as I said, you can be in physical survival mode where, you know, your your physical surroundings, maybe where you live is not where you're wanting to be, or you're sleeping on somebody's couch, or you're in a shelter, or whatever the situation may be. Nothing is wrong with you. You're not broken, okay? You can be in emotional survival mode where you feel like you're walking on eggshells and everything can set you off and you're on edge. Nothing is wrong with you. You're not broken, okay? You are not broken. You can be in financial survival mode, right? Where you're trying to make ends meet and you feel like you're in the struggle. Nothing is wrong with you. You are not broken. It's not that everybody else has something else figured out. It's that your nervous system, this beautiful body that you have been gifted, is wanting to protect you, is wanting to keep you safe. And so rather than welcoming in connection, it is putting you in protection mode. So it is building up barriers to anything and everything that feels like it may hurt. Yes, type it in the comments. I am not broken. Ooh, I am not broken. You are not broken. You're not broken. There is nothing wrong with you. You're not lazy. You're not broken. You're not, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that your body, your nervous system is in survival mode. Your nervous system is like, okay, all right, this is how I'm going to keep her safe. This is how I'm going to keep her safe. And so it may look like sometimes folks will tell me somebody the other day, she told me she feels like, okay, I got to just get through the day, right? So if you find yourself saying, got to just get through the day, right? And we've all had those moments. I've had those moments some days when certain things are happening, right? Difficult, challenging things are going by, going on, or if you're in grief or whatever it is, you think, okay, got to just get through this. Let me just get through this day. Or sometimes it may be something smaller. Let me just get through this meeting. Let me just get through this holiday or get through this season, right? We have all done this short term, but when it's a long-term thing that is unhealthy for you, it's unhealthy for your mind, it's unhealthy for your body, and it is most certainly unhealthy for your spirit. So if you are feeling like I just got to get through this, right? Bypass this, that spiritual bypass or emotional bypass, mental bypass, that is survival mode. If you feel like you got to make a dollar out of 15 cent, you're trying to make a dollar out of 15 cent, whether it's with money or with emotions, that's survival mode. If you are in hashtag the struggle, that is survival mode. If you feel like you constantly have to prove yourself or you feel like you're an imposter in situations that you are put in where you are meant to thrive, that is also survival mode. If you feel like, you know, like, <laughs> like, um, 
folks used to say back in the day, like, okay, that person, they don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. That is survival mode. If you are waiting for the other shoe to drop, whether it is in your relationships, whether it is in your job or your business, you know, you feel like, okay, you expect the worst. That is survival mode. Goddess Lisa says, yes, says exhaling as I listen and relate. Yes, where you are expecting the worst in any situation, that is survival mode because you deserve to expect the best. You deserve to expect the best. You deserve to expect the best in your health and well-being, in your business, in your career, in your family and your interpersonal dealings, in your finances. You deserve to expect the best. Type that in the comments. I deserve to expect the best. I deserve to expect the best. And you can feel what it feels like in your body, in your nervous system, when we say some of these phrases, because your body is reaching out toward it and saying, oh yeah, that does sound familiar. Wait, no, that sounds like the real truth. The truth, the story that I've been making up to myself about how I'm broken and how, you know, things don't work out for me and how, you know, oh, here goes another one. Here comes another situation that is feels out of alignment. It feels out of joint, even though it feels at home because you've been practicing that vibration for so long. But the idea of, oh, I do deserve to expect the best. I do deserve to feel good in my body, in my relationships, in my finances, in my home, in my skin. I do deserve to expect the best. I deserve the best, period. Type that in the comments. I deserve the best. And you can add the period if you want. I deserve the best. You deserve the best. You are worthy and deserving of the best right this minute, just as you are, without having to do another thing, without having to, to, to sign up for another thing, without having to sign up for anything. You deserve to expect the best. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. We just forgot it temporarily. We forget it temporarily. And survival mode is the way that a lot of us were raised. Because we were raised by people, but they were raised by people, they were probably raised by people that were in survival mode, that were in, you know, a depression or in a recession or in hard times or in stress or in overwhelm. And then we feel like, okay, well, that's how things just are. That's how it is for folks like us. That's how it is. But no, that is not how it is. <laughs> and I am not claiming let's rebuke and reject any idea of folks like us. Let's just say folks like us thrive. People like me thrive. Type that in the comments. People like me thrive. People like me deserve the best. People like me wake up and feel good in their bodies. People like me are healthy and thriving and joyful and happy. People like me feel beautiful and loved and sexy and joyful and pleasurable. People like me are well are, are doing well in their lives. People like me have money coming in. People like me can give generously. People like me can spend like water. People like me have fat bank accounts. Type it in the comments. People like me feel good. People like me feel joy. People like me feel good. People like me feel God. People like me are worthy and deserving. Let's just get into the tapping because yes, people like me deserve the best, period. People like me, all right? Contrary, you know, forget what you heard. Forget what you've been taught. People like us, people like you, Goddess Michelle, Goddess Aurora, Goddess Erin, Goddess Candace, Goddess Sandy, Goddess M Melanie, people like you, Goddess Christina, people like you deserve to thrive, Goddess Patricia, people like you, people like me. We're not just trying, we're not just holding on, we're not just doing, you know, well, you know how we do. No, uh uh, well, you know how we do. No, let's restructure that. Well, you know how we do. We thrive. Well, you know how we do? Yes. 
Things get better and better. Well, you know how we do? We are abundant. Well, you know how we do? We are rich. Well, you know how we do? We are healthy. Well, you know how we do? Things, great things keep happening for us. Yes, let's just tap. Come on, let's just tap. If you are unfamiliar with EFT tapping, you can Google it and get the science and figure out why so many therapists are working it into their practice. Or you can check out the link tinyurl.com slash tap with abiola and get a free gift tinyurl.com slash tap with abiola free 10-day summit but for right now just tap with me and just repeat and let's rearrange our nervous systems that is what this does it allows your nervous system to relax it allows your nervous system to feel good to know the truth that you deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel God. That is your natural way of being. Yes, so let's just tap. Just tap and repeat after me. Doesn't matter if you've ever seen this, never before in your life. Tap and repeat after me. Woo, yes. <laughs> just tap and repeat after me. Yes, Goddess Giovanna. Even though I've been in survival mode, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I've been in survival mode, I choose now to love, honor, and cherish myself. I'm gonna repeat that one. Even though I've been in survival mode, I choose now to love, honor, and cherish myself. And you can repeat or you can just type in the comments if, you, if that's better for you, okay? Top of the head. I've been in survival mode, eyebrow points. I have been in survival mode, sides of the eyes. I know what survival mode feels like under the eyes. There are some days where I felt like I was just hanging on by a string under the nose. I know long phrases. There are some days under the mouth, I felt like I was just hanging on by a string, collarbones. I've been in survival mode under the arms. I know what survival mode feels like, top of the head. I know what it feels like to just hold on, eyebrow points. But now I'm choosing something different, size of the eyes. I know what survival mode feels like under the eyes. But now I am choosing to thrive under the nose. What if everything was different under the mouth? What if everything stayed the same? Collarbones. What if everything was different under the eyes, under the arms? What if everything stayed the same, top of the head? If it stayed the same, could I be okay? Eyebrow points. If it stayed the same, could I thrive? Sides of the eyes. I'm doing better today than I was doing yesterday, under the eyes. I'm doing better today than I was doing yesterday, under the nose. And if I think about it, under the mouth, my best days are ahead of me, collarbones. So I'm choosing something different under the arms. I'm choosing thrive mode, top of the head, because thriving is my natural state eyebrow points because thriving is what my creator wants for me sides of the eyes because thriving is what i deserve under the eyes so i'm willing to release the struggle under the nose i'm willing to release the struggle under the mouth i'm willing to release the struggle collarbones i was taught the struggle was natural under the arms I was taught that the struggle was the way it was, top of the head, but now I'm choosing something different, eyebrow points. I did the best that I could, sides of the eyes. I did the best that I could with what I knew at the time, under the eyes, and now I know something different, under the nose. I know that I deserve to thrive, under the mouth. And so I release all conversations about struggle, collarbones. I release all conversations about struggle under the arms. I will. I release all conversations about struggle, top of the head. 
I am no longer bonding over struggle. Eyebrow points. I'm no longer bonding over how bad it is. Size of the eyes. I am choosing now to revel in how good it is under the eyes. Because the better it gets, the better it gets under the nose. The better it gets, the better it gets under the mouth. And I deserve to feel good, collarbones. I deserve to feel God under the arms. The better it gets, the better it gets, top of the head. And people like me thrive, eyebrow points. People like me thrive every day, sides of the eyes. People like me thrive every day under the eyes. And so I'm choosing to thrive under the nose. I'm choosing to thrive in my body, under the mouth. I'm choosing to thrive in my health, collarbones. I'm choosing to thrive in my well-being, under the arms. I'm choosing to thrive in my relationships, top of the head. The better it gets, the better it gets. Eyebrow points. I'm a magnet for great people, sides of the eyes. I am a magnet for great situations, under the eyes. I am a magnet for all good things, under the nose. The better it gets, the better it gets under the mouth. People like me thrive, collarbones. People like me are healthy and feeling good under the arms. It feels good to feel good, top of the head. And it feels safe to feel good, eyebrow points. It feels good to feel good, sides of the eyes. And it feels safe to feel good under the eyes. And I am willing to feel safe under the nose what if it all works out under the mouth what if i just continue to thrive collarbones what if everything was easy under the arms what if the things i'm waiting for are easy top of the head i'm willing to be lucky eyebrow points i'm willing to be blessed sides of the eyes i'm willing to thrive under the eyes it is safe for me to thrive under the nose. It is safe for me to thrive under the mouth. It is safe for me to thrive collarbones. And so I release all trauma bonds under the arm. I release all bonds of trauma, top of the head. I release all trauma bonds, eyebrow points. And now I'm bonding over joy sides of the eyes. I am willing to bond over joy under the eyes. It feels good to feel good under the nose. It feels good to feel good under the mouth. And it feels good to thrive, collarbones. I release all unspoken agreements under the arms. I release all unspoken agreements, top of the head. Agreements made in this lifetime or any other, eyebrow points that say that it's normal to suffer, sides of the eyes. I release all trauma bonds under the eyes and I release all agreements to suffer under the nose because I was born to thrive under the mouth. My creator loves when I thrive, collarbones. It feels good to thrive under the arms. Thriving is my natural state of being, top of the head. It feels good to be happy, eyebrow points. It feels good to feel joyful, sides of the eyes. It feels good to feel God, goddess, spirit, the divine, the creator. Yes, under the eyes. It feels good to feel good under the nose. It feels safe to be healthy under the mouth. It feels safe to be healthy, collarbones. It is safe for me to be completely healthy under the arms. It is safe for me to be good in my body, top of the head. It is safe for me to feel good in my body, eyebrow points. It is safe for me to feel good in my body, sides of the eyes. It is safe for me to feel good in my relationships, under the eyes. It is safe for me to trust other people, under the nose. It is safe for me to trust other people, under the mouth. It is safe for me to trust other people, collarbones. It is safe for me to trust others under the arms. It is safe for me to release fear, top of the head. It is safe for me to be abundant, eyebrow points. It is safe for me to be prosperous, 
sides of the eyes. It is safe for me to spend money under the eyes. It is safe for me to receive money under the nose. It is safe for me to have money under the mouth. It is safe for me to save money, collarbones. It feels good to be safe under the arms and it is safe to be safe, top of the head. It is thrive mode to be abundant eyebrow points. It is thrive mode to be loved. Sides of the eyes. It is thrive mode to love under the eyes. It is thrive mode to be abundant under the nose. It is thrive mode to be prosperous under the mouth. And thrive mode is my natural state of being. Collarbones. Thrive mode is my natural state of being under the arms. It feels good to thrive top of the head. I'm now choosing to thrive physically. Eyebrow points. I'm now choosing to thrive emotionally. <laughs> Size of the eyes. I'm now choosing to thrive financially. Under the eyes. I'm now choosing to thrive in my relationships. Under the nose. I'm a magnet for great opportunities. Under the mouth. Great opportunities always come my way. Collarbones because I am choosing to thrive under the arms, because thriving is my natural state of being. Top of the head, because thriving is my natural state of being. Eyebrow points, and it is safe for me to thrive. Sides of the eyes, no need for me to fight. Under the eyes, no need for me to flight. <laughs> under the nose, no need for me to freeze. Under the mouth, no need for me to people, please. Collarbones, because thriving is what I do. Under the arms, thriving is who I am. Top of the head, thriving is my truth. Eyebrow points, and I allow myself to thrive. Sides of the eyes, I now allow myself to thrive. Ooh, under the eyes, I now allow myself to thrive. Under the nose, the better it gets, the better it gets. Under the mouth, the other shoe dropped and it's still great. Collarbones, the other shoe dropped and it's still great. Under the arm, the other shoe dropped and it's still great. Top of the head because I deserve to thrive. Eyebrow points, and it feels good to thrive. Sides of the eyes, and it feels so good to thrive under the eyes. It feels so good to thrive under the nose. It feels so good to thrive under the mouth. People like me thrive easily. Yes, let's say that again. People like me, Thrive easily, collarbones. People like me thrive easily. Yes, under the arms. People like me thrive easily, top of the head. People like me always prosper. Eyebrow points. People like me make great friends. Size of the eyes. People like me receive money easily, under the eyes. People like me are healthy and active under the nose. People like me are intelligent under the mouth. People like me are beautiful and sexy collarbones. People like me have fat bank accounts under the arms. People like me are generous and give easily top of the head. People like me are worthy and deserving eyebrow points. People like me are worthy and deserving eyebrow points. People like me are worthy and deserving. Yes, people like me are worthy and deserving. Are you receiving that today, my beauties? Are you? I'm trying not to shout. I don't want to wake the baby, but are you receiving that today? <laughs> people like us are worthy and deserving. People like us are worthy and deserving. People like us are happy and joyful. People like us deserve to thrive and thrive. 
People like us deserve to feel good in our bodies. People like us are happy and joyful. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. And feel free to come back and do this round of tapping again and again and again until your nervous system says, yes, yes, yes. People like me deserve to thrive. People like me thrive easily and effortlessly. And definitely sign up for the Tapping World Summit at tinyurl.com slash tap with Abiola. So you can tap with me, tap with Ian Levanson, tap with a lot of teachers and healers and people who are all about yes, goddess. Erin says, hashtag thrive life, thrive life. Yes. <laughs> yes, goddess Patricia says, I receive it all with ease and flow. Yay. <laughs> ease and flow. All right, my beauties, have a beautiful, wonderful, thriving, 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 thriving. Oh, here comes Mr. Softy. I want to show y'all Mr. Softy again. Have a thriving day, but wait, let me show y'all Mr. Softy because the ice cream man is here on a bike and I showed y'all before. I want to show y'all again. You deserve to thrive. You deserve to thrive. Is Mr. Softy coming through? Mr. Softy, you coming through? Let's see. Oh, he stopped. Somebody got him. <laughs> All right. See y'all next time. Bye, y'all. You deserve to thrive. <laughs>